Okay, so the bass that they've given me to play for you today is a bass by, uh, it's labeled E.M. Pullman, and it was made by Gunter Kramer, who was Eric Max Pullman's nephew. George probably told you a little bit about the history. They come from a, a very great tradition in those days, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, in Mark Neukirch in Saxony, there were three very big bass makers. There was Rubner, Perlman, and uh, Meyer. And they were, they were, in their way, really artists, great artists. Um, this is a, this by the nephew who left and went to the West, as it was in those days, and established the Pullman firm in Western Europe and America. And uh, very, very hardworking, very nice man. I knew him very well. Uh, the bases are, are beautifully made, very nice looking, great, well constructed, well worked out along the lines of the uncle. The uncle, the uncle in my view is a genius. Eric Max Pellman was a genius. When you see his old instruments and various orchestras and things, they are fantastic. The big five stringers are just beyond belief. They're so wonderful. They're really, really good. Uh, this is what he would have called a solo bass. Uh, which is a three-quarter size bass. But the, 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 that tradition is big, big ones are orchestra basses and small ones are solo basses. That doesn't mean you couldn't play this in an orchestra. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. got a really a beautiful sound but very penetrating with a great bass for playing solo and things on very clear No question of it's not speaking really well. It's a very the notes really jump out. Very even. <laughs> <laughs> 